Okay guys, so update on the water wheel. My spindle in the middle actually bent and snapped, so I had to cut it off, grind it all out, put a new shaft in it, put a bigger one in it with bigger uh, pillow bushings. But I also wanted to show you guys what I did on a little bit better video on this, on these um, buckets. So this is a two by 12 that goes all the way up. Well, here, I'll show you on this one. It goes from this one, it comes all the way down to here. And so I think that was like 28 inches, no, more than that, 34 inches, maybe 36, I don't remember. Um, I don't remember, oh, 42 inches, I think is what they were. So anyway, they're 42 inches long and I actually just took some two by eight PT and put in here to make more buckets. So some of these have just two extras, but some of them on this other side have three. And that was to actually balance, like right here, the two by four on the top and then two by eight and a two by eight and then the two by 12 again. Um, so basically that was to balance the wheel, help balance it. Cause it was off just a tiny bit. So anyway, guys, that's how I did it. Of course, this is the this is where the the, the uh, belt rides. Uh, all that seems to work pretty good. Biggest part is making sure you get this, you know, in the middle, all the way around. It could be a little off, and I think that's about a maybe a sixteenth off of being, you know, perfectly in the middle of of that circle on one side or the other. Anyway, let's go mount this sucker back up down there and see what we can do. So at this rate, this Amazon 12,000 I got took forever to get it, but it was fairly cheap. Right now it's putting out 96 volts DC power on that spin. That might be worth running a wire up to the house. And hook it up to the solar batteries. Huh. Yes. Yeah, moving right along today. Had pretty good rain last night. Um, it's now turning one rotation about four seconds. So if you count this out, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,000, almost 1,004. So that's about 15 rotations a minute. Every time that wheel spins one rotation, this electric motor spins about 90 rotations. So if we're spinning 15 here a minute, that's putting that RPMs of that at about 1300, 1350. I just checked the voltages on it. And it's putting out 188 volts DC off the rectifier. Um, our Plume is just about full. Um, go up and check the the pipe up here, and it's. Let's see how we're doing. Okay, so that's about a four inch. That's a four inch pipe, and it's running about half full. And that's basically our flume is full now. It's pretty good flow down the, the actual creek bed still. Check out our flume up here on the top. This is um this end of this is a two by six on the bottom, two by six sides. And so we have extra here, but up there at the top, it's just a two by four. So I'm probably gonna need to redo some work up there to make that a bigger flume. But yeah, it's just it's kind of kind of cool to watch, it's kind of cool. Give you a straight on view of it. We'll get down here to fall the trees. Over here to the other side of the dam. Jump the overflow there. Up to the what we're gonna make this a uh, Little landing for camping or something.
It's actually kind of cool. There's more videos in our page about how we built that, that water wheel and what we've done for gear ratios and stuff. A bunch of different gear ratios we put on it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.